Well, this week, iCast 2020 is going on, and we're going to talk about some of the new products I think you'll be excited about. Every summer, iCast takes place, and because of the whole pandemic, this year's iCast was canceled in person, but it is available online, and that offers an amazing opportunity for the general public to be able to look at some items sooner than they often would. Normally, iCast is reserved for the manufacturers, manufacturers' reps, buyers from all your different retailers, the media, those types of individuals. And when I've worked iCast in the past, it is just an absolute blast to walk around and see all the new products that are offered. Well, anybody can go online and take a look at all of the dealers virtual booths right now. I'll put the links down in the description below and I'll also go ahead and put a link to a really great Wired to Fish article that lists I believe about 349 new products that you can scroll through as well. Now I'm not going over that many here but I did highlight a few that I think you're going to find interesting so let's get started. The first one is the Minn Kota Raptors. This is their latest version of a shallow water anchor. Now, Minn Kota has been known for the Talons, which are an electric shallow water anchor system. This one is a hydraulic, very similar to the power poles. Now, what sets this one apart, at least what Minn Kota wants us to know as anglers, is that these particular shallow water anchors have what they call active anchoring, and auto bottom mode or auto bottom adjust. The active anchoring system determines how much pressure to go ahead and put down there based on the conditions that you are in. If the wind and the waves pick up, if the boat wakes pick up, and that active anchoring system feels that you're starting to slip or lose your anchor, it will go ahead and readjust and put those anchors down a little bit farther or maintain that pressure that is needed so you can just focus on fishing. Now the auto bottom mode I think is really interesting. We all know that lake and rivers have different types of beds or structure to them. Some are silty, muddy, rocky, whatever they might be. As the raptors deploy, it senses the resistance so it can tell what type of bottom composition there is and applies the appropriate pressure to that particular part of the lake or river. And hopefully this keeps you from having that horrible situation where you deploy your shallow water anchors too far down and they get stuck down there. So Minn Kota currently is gonna offer these in eight foot and 10 foot versions and they are going to retail in that $14.99 to $18.99 range depending on the model that you get. The next one that I want to talk about is a drop shot hook. As a matter of fact, the Eagle Claw AXS, and they are saying that this one is going to change the way drop shot anglers use their soft plastics. If you take a look here, it has a small little stud that comes off the hook that will help to hold that bait in a more horizontal position. And it has this really nice keeper on there as well. And you can adjust that keeper where it sits. So depending on on the plastic that you're using, you can move it to the appropriate place. It also has a very fluid system to it. So depending if you're fishing this bait straight vertically or you're casting it out and bringing it back more horizontally, that bait is gonna move side to side and have what Eagle Claw says is a more lifelike action. So if you are a diehard drop shot angler and you're tired of losing your soft plastics constantly and wanna take your your drop shot game to that next level, this may be a product that you want to check out. The next one that I thought was interesting at this year's iCast was Motor Guide has introduced a kayak sized trolling motor just like Minn Kota did. We know that the Old Town Sportsman has an option where you can get an Ultrax right up there at the front in between your feet that features the GPS 
anchoring or the spot lock system, which is a game changer for kayak anglers. Well, Motor Guide has also gotten into that particular market, and this here that they introduced at iCast is the X13. The X13 is a very simple system, so you can stow and deploy it even when you are seated. It's a very quiet operation. It does have a wireless remote as well, and you can also use a lot of those GPS features like your, your anchor lock, your heading lock, route record, and more. So if you like to kayak fish and you want to put one of these trolling motors on your particular setup, maybe the Motor Guide X13 is for you. Now this next one is no surprise. We all knew when Kevin Van Dam switched over to Luz that it was only a matter of time before he had his own lineup. Now one thing that I think as bass anglers you're going to find interesting and appreciate is Kevin wanted to create quality tournament gear but he wanted to make it at a price point that was available for a wider range of anglers not everybody can go out and drop three or four hundred dollars just on a bait cast reel so kevin wanted to bring quality equipment to a mid price point that more people could afford and i think that he has done that with this new lineup of reels now he does have bait casters and he does have spinning reels along with 23 different models of rods the bait casters have an msrp of 139.99 and the spinning reels are 89.99 while the rods come in at a budget friendly 9 $99.99. The bait casters are going to be offered in both right and left hand models and they have three gear ratios that anglers can pick from with either one of those setups. They're going to be offered in a 6.2, a 7.5, and an 8.3 system. The spinning reels are going to come in the very popular 200, 300, and 400 size reels and all of those are going to be at a 6.2 to gear ratio. As far as the rods, Kevin designed 10 graphite casting models. Okay, your traditional graphite rods, they are IM8. He has seven graphite spinning models, and then he also has six composite casting models, which would be great for the crankbait anglers. And one thing that I do want to point out here is he does have a reinforced tip up at the end. A lot of times as bass anglers, I mean, think about it. How many times have we stuck that rod down in the water to pull a jig or something off of a limb? Well, Kevin wanted to make sure that these rods were very, very durable and they would hold up for your money. And the colors on these are really nice. They look very very, very clean and professional with a good, good finish. I can't wait to get a whole bunch of these and try them out on my own. The next one that I want to talk about, of course, is a new lure brought out by Strike King. It is actually called the Hybrid Hunter. It is a crankbait, but the first thing that you're going to notice here is take a look at that lip. It's got this 90 degree bend in there. Now it has two sizes. It has a junior model as well as the regular size, and they run best in that one to five foot range. And Pro Staff has already said that these particular lures do an excellent job of coming and ripping through the grass because unlike traditional deep divers that run at more of an aggressive angle like this, the hybrid hunter runs a little bit more horizontal and can pull right through that stuff much, much easier than your traditional crankbait. It has some very loud rattles in there. It is flat sided, so it's going to have all kinds of vibration to it. You can throw this thing a country mile for sure. Now the hybrid hunter Hunter is going to be available in late 2020, so make sure that you check your favorite retailer for that. And if you want to see a video on the Hybrid Hunter, Wired to Fish put one out a couple weeks ago, I will drop the link for that down below. The next one I think is a really great tackle bag. This is the Locker System from Z-Man. And here it is right here, and they say that you can put 50 bags of soft plastics in here. Well, I think about if you're a co-angler in a tournament, or if you're a shore angler, or even if you're packing up and trying to downsize your gear to take on a trip, 
man, 50 bags of soft plastics is going to cover a lot of applications. The bottom of this bag has a non-slip grip to it. So when you put it on a dock or a deck or someplace, it's not going to slide all over the place. And it has larger external pockets to it where you can stick some tools and, and put extra spools of line, that type of stuff. And this particular bag is going to retail at that $59.99 mark. I just think that they've got a really neat set up here as far as your soft plastic storage and I wanted to show it to you. The next product I want to talk about is from TH Marine and if you are familiar with TH Marine you know that they just have a full lineup of very innovative products that you can tell are designed by anglers. Well a couple years ago I bought the TH Marine Hydra terminal multiplier. This thing is amazing. It just makes organizing and managing the wires coming into your batteries so much easier with all the accessories that we put on our boats today. These terminal multipliers are great. Well, the traditional positive side of your battery, that rubber cap there, that plastic cap that would sit over that side of the battery, doesn't fit over the Hydra at all. Well, they came out with the TH Marine Hydra Terminal Multiplier cover, so no longer is that an issue. So depending on whether you have the three terminal multiplier or the five, they have the caps for those. And this is something that I think any bass angler would find is a great benefit to the back part of the boat. We don't want problems on the water, but they often happen, and the terminal multiplier is a great way to make that wire and cable management much easier, and make sure you grab some of these terminal covers to go with them. The next one I want to talk about is a culling system from Ardent. If you are a tournament angler, hopefully culling is something that you have to deal with. Well, they have come out with this smart clip system that I just think is an excellent idea. We know when we catch a fish, you know, we go ahead and we weigh it and either we write it down or use a grease pencil, write it on the lid or, or do something to keep track of the weight of the fish that are in our live well. Well, the smart clip system actually has a pounds and ounces indicator that you can turn and adjust and it locks into position. So you can catch that nice bass, weigh it, adjust the smart clip, put it into the live well, and then after you get your five and you catch that sixth fish, it's gonna be much, much easier to determine which one you need to cull because we know winners are sometimes determined just by ounces and I think that this smart clip system is just a really really nice addition to that tournament anglers arsenal. Well like I said earlier there are many many hundreds of new products that have come out at ICAST this year. Make sure that you go ahead and jump online and you can browse through all the dealers virtual booths and check out some of this stuff for yourself and like I said I linked some articles down below that I think you may find interesting and make sure you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life I'm your host Steve Rogers.